To be an assistant director, um, I don't think you need any particular skills. Um, I think that people come at it from lots of different routes and depending on what the director needs, um, you have to either have that skill set or learn the things that they need to kind of help them best. I think being sensitive to a rehearsal room and how, how um, a safe space needs to be created and maintained and kind of facilitating that by, by not kind of getting in the way of actors or the director when they're working is really useful. I think it's really good to have an understanding of what it's like to direct a play and also act in a play. I mean, my background into directing was acting and I think that's always really useful. Just so you kind of understand etiquette in the room, but you also understand the process that the actors are going through. Um, in terms of any other skills in particular, I think if you're really good at research and you're really good at finding out information, historical research, accurate research, that's really useful. If you know where to go, if you know how to find the things that will be beneficial and I think it's also about trying to if you can stay ahead of the game so kind of work out scenarios and things that might be useful even if the director hasn't asked you for them specifically so that when they're needed in the moment you have them to handle you know where to get them. As assistant director on Cinderella I've been working with Sarah to help facilitate the creation of the show. With Sarah in particular I found that she has a really good handle on a lot of aspects of the show and how it's working. So a lot of the time it was just being a support in the room and being there to talk through the day and how it might work out and talk through different ideas that she was having about different elements of the script and the storytelling.